Hey, what's up you guys, it's Jackson, and welcome back to another video. So I've actually filmed a video for this channel twice now, and somehow, due to like the hectic schedule I have at the moment and how many files I'm dealing with, I keep losing the files, or like, they just they just disappear from my SD cards. I have absolutely no idea, or the audio is too bad and I have to refilm it, hence why I'm refilming this at like 11 o'clock at night. I kind of have to whisper because, basically, my mother-in-law is sleeping in that room, and my fiancé is sleeping in that room, and I have my little studio room that I have to be quiet in. Also, my camera's on one battery, which is great so yeah so due to not making the video on here for a while i decided i would answer some of your questions that i didn't get to finish answering on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram promotion right there <laughs> go and follow me on instagram because i'm way more active on there than any other social media that i have also if you haven't subscribed to what is basically my main channel make sure you go and subscribe there i'm going to be doing as many vlogs as i can during christmas i'm not going to say i'm doing vlogmas because i feel like i'll jinx it then but i am trying my absolute best to do vlogmas so i'm going to vlog as many days as i can during the month of december so if you want to see more of my life and what I do on a daily basis with COVID and stuff, I guess, um, yeah, it should be fun and interesting. And I'll be shooting two films over December. So if you want to go and see what it's like behind the scenes on those, make sure to follow that account. So apologies if it seems like I'm rushing through this video. I just want to make sure the battery doesn't die and I actually get a video out for you guys this week because, again, I've tried to film this, like, twice over the last three weeks and it's just, it's very, very annoying. <laughs> also, if you hear Game of Thrones and Russian in the background... That's my fiance's mom watching it while she goes to sleep. So please do not copyright me. It's not my fault. It helps her fall asleep, okay? So these questions are just going to be quick fire. So I hope you enjoy. We've got a few to get through. Not a question, but you're looking so good, man. Gonna make me cry. That's like the first question. I'm also trans and I'm happy to see you growing. Thank you so much. These aren't questions, but I'm loving it. Feed my ego, please. Just kidding. I don't have any self-confidence. Did it ever feel weird to not have a chest after surgery? Like amazing, obviously, but also weird. Yes and no. Like, it felt like there was always flatness underneath there. Like, I know there is a flatness underneath there if you had, like, chest tissue. We're not going to say that other word. But, um, I guess not. Because once I saw my chest, nothing felt weird. Like, it felt like that was always my chest. So, I hope that answers your question. It was very indecisive. Pisces. How long after starting tea did you notice the first changes? Also, what was the first change? Um, I think about a week or two with bottom growth. It didn't happen as quickly as it did to my other friends, but it happened pretty quickly, so yeah, probably bottom growth. How to know if top surgery is right for you? I dislike my chest, but thinking of it with nothing feels odd. Um, I had crippling chest dysphoria. Like, I hated, hated, hated wearing anything tight. I hated binding, but binding was the only thing that got me through today to actually go outside. Um, it's just, I you don't necessarily have to have crippling dysphoria, I wouldn't say, to like get top surgery, but it's just the thought of like, I will be way more self-confident with top surgery or like I will feel more like me with top surgery. That's what did it for me. Everybody's experience is different. So you need to find what makes you fully decide because it is a big, big thing to do. So just make sure you're doing it for all the right reasons and not everybody else's reason. Can you list some stuff you should never say to a trans person as a compliment? First of all, thank you for asking this question. It is very important. Secondly, just compliment them normally. Like just the way you would any other person, just compliment them. You don't have to say like, wow, you really look like a man or you really look like a woman or you really don't look like any gender today. You can just say you look good. <laughs> that's, that's it, you're looking good and that's a compliment, there you go. Did you ever have doubts about being trans? No, I doubted whether or not it was like the right time for me to like medically and socially transition, but I never doubted who I was, if that makes sense. Like I was scared when I was starting testosterone and I was scared when I was getting top surgery, but that's because they were very big life changes and I don't need anybody to tell me like, well, if you were scared, it probably wasn't the right choice. Nah, it was the right choice, but it was shit scary. And I'm going to be deadly honest about that. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm a big tough man. And like, I wasn't scared at all. I cried before surgery. Full facts. Is it okay to not put a label on yourself? I just feel okay with liking whoever I like. Like who you like and only label yourself if you want to do so. You are not a product. You are not a consumer product. You do not need to be labeled. You do not have any allergens for other people, I'm pretty sure. Well, you never know nowadays. People are allergic to basically everything. But yeah, only put a label on yourself if you want to have a label. Don't, like, seriously. How much do tattoos hurt? That completely depends on your, why can't I think of this word? Pain tolerance, there you go. <laughs> completely depends on your pain tolerance. Um, Some of my tattoos didn't hurt at all. Some of my tattoos really hurt. It also depends on where you get your tattoo done. If you go for like ribs or, you know, elbows or like knees or, sensitive areas in general it's gonna hurt so pain tolerance and placement is and size like what you're getting done it completely completely depends were you ever panicky or nervous just before you were about to start tea yes i was about to have a panic attack before i started testosterone i was very excited but i was also very very nervous so it all worked out good in the end though i am loving the facial hair growth apart from the neck growth i'm 
trying not to shave until December 1st, but this is killing me. Like, well. But yes, yeah, so I did panic a bit, and I'm very belchy because I just had hot chocolate, but I did panic a bit. And um, yeah, it's completely normal. Again, big life change, so don't stress it if you're freaking out. What are some things you need slash wish you had after top surgery? I wish people had warned me how tired I would have been. Now when people ask me like, oh, what was the one thing you wish you knew about top surgery? Just how exhausted I was gonna be. Like I literally walked. I got out of a taxi about like four or five days post-op and I walked about like 10 meters and was exhausted. Like me and my fiance were hoping to like, you know, explore Poland and Warsaw city and you know, just ex explore where we were because it was a really beautiful city. And uh, yeah, I got out of the taxi. I walked like 10, 20 meters to like the Starbucks, had to sit down for like two hours and then just had to go straight back to the apartment because I just, I just couldn't do it. Any tips on coming out as bi and telling them that my girlfriend is actually my boyfriend? Um, that's a toughie. I'd say first come out as bi and then girlfriend is actually boyfriend. I think doing it all at once might be a bit tough. Like you could say like, hey, I'm bi. Obviously like don't do it that easily if you're not comfortable doing that easily. Like, you know, do whatever way, come out whatever way you feel comfortable and um, but say like, this isn't everything. Like if you, don't mind me telling you something else that might be a bit harder to process, then I will. But if you'd rather me wait a couple days, like you process this, then that's completely fine. Obviously don't fully take my advice. Like do what makes you comfortable. That's just the way I would do it. Like not forcing you to do it that way. Um, but yeah, I'd say like take it as like a step at a time because that could be a lot to process and they mightn't process yours as much as you need them to because like it's your family, I'm guessing. So yeah, put I'm not trying to sound bad, but put your needs first and then your partners because at the end of the day, it's your family. So. Not related, but are you still selling merch? Yes, link in bio. It's not great merch, but I try my best. <laughs> Have a top surgery consultation soon. Any tips to get over the nervousness? Um, just remind yourself that you're doing this for all the right reasons. Like, yes, surgery is scary, but just remember the outcomes and how happy you're gonna be and just like the freedom of it. Like just try your best to focus on the positives. Again, I was terrified going into surgery, but came out feeling freaking great, so. Yeah, focus on the positives. It's so much easier said than done, but that's what I recommend. Personally, since having top surgery, has bottom dysphoria altered? Sorry if TMI, it is not TMI at all. Um, this is what this channel is for, education reasons. Um, no, I still feel completely fine. Like bottom dysphoria hasn't really ever been a thing for me. Um, I'm comfortable with what I have there. So no is the answer without getting off on a big mark. Tangent, no is the answer. <laughs> Did you get any weird symptoms when you started testosterone? I got sick, like I got a bad cold. Um, apparently that's like a normal thing because of like it can damage your immune system slightly. But yeah, I got a cold and all my friends said it was completely normal. So if it's a weird thing, I don't know, but I got a cold. How much was it to go private and get top surgery? Um, all together with like flights, hotel and surgery, like everything, just like everything all together, I think it was about four and a half thousand, which is pretty freaking good. I think his prices have gone up now. When I went to him, it was 3000. To get top surgery now i have people i know people now that are going over and it's like four thousand because the irish list the the only top surgery english jackson the only top surgeon in ireland retired even though she was a hand surgeon like they just they just somebody in there and was like you'll do the surgeries like she was a hand surgeon anyways she retired bye bitch but <laughs> sorry that's mean i don't know the woman um yeah she retired and now they're like anybody who was on her waiting list has to be like sent away somewhere else um, so they're all being sent to Lembas. So his prices have gone like through the roof. So yeah, well not through the roof, but like up a thousand euro, which is a big increase. Like I wasn't like, I'll pop it up a hundred, I'll pop it up 250, like nah, this bitch went 1,000 up. So you know what, I love you Lembas, but no need for that, that was just rude. How to find other trans people? It feels like I'm the only one near here. LGBT groups, yes. That's where I found literally basically every single one of my trans friends was LGBT groups and like arts groups and just things that are just basically known for the queers to go there. So yeah, I'd recommend LGBT groups. And if you, if anybody ever needs to like find like LGBT people in a certain area, why'd I go American on that? <laughs> just DM me on Instagram and be like, hey, I live here. I want to stay anonymous for now, but like, can you put up a post and see if there's any people in like the so-so area that are like trans or queer? And I'll be like, hell yeah. And I'll put it up and then people can answer the polls and then I'll give them your username and y'all can be friends because the internet is great nowadays and you can do that. Just make sure they're not weird, creepy old people that are trying to be your friend. <laughs> Where did you get top surgery? I got top surgery with Dr. Lembas in Warsaw, Poland. It's a very quick answer, but that's it. <laughs> Looks med clinic. Bottom growth, question mark. Yes, full stop.
Okay, I can't clap loudly, but that was the last question. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the questions on Instagram. Again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should do that because losing followers by the day because I don't post and have engagement. <laughs> so like, help me get my numbers back up, please. No, I'm joking, I don't really care about numbers, but if you wanna keep up to date with me and my life on a daily basis, even though I'm boring as frick, I'm so good at self-promoting, follow my Instagram. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. I am hoping to start posting consistently. I just feel like I've run out of topics to talk about. So if you feel like I've missed anything, or if you want me to like do an update on something, comment it down below, let me know. This boy is creatively blocked. If there's anybody you want me to collaborate with, I can travel to certain places once the lockdown's done. I probably shouldn't, but like in the next few months, if you want me to collaborate with people, I have a few people in mind, but if you want me to, let me know. I really try too hard on youtube i really do so yeah like this video comment down below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next video peace out